Marissa is a high school senior, but she's been a Girl Scout since the first grade. Here, you can see my troop number. Troop Over time, she's earned bronze and silver stars. Now she's after the ultimate prize. For her gold star, Marissa decided to look into the internment of 120,000 people of Japanese ancestry during World War II. Throughout high school, I think it might have been mentioned maybe once. Marissa, who only gives out her first name as part of a Girl Scout safety pledge, called Angel Island Immigration Station for more information. That's where she met Grant Din. They came to Angel Island. Din works on the Immigrant Voices Project. They sent Marissa a list of people incarcerated at Angel Island. She picked the last name on the list, Wakijiro Yuki. I use Ancestry.com to find his family relations. And then from there, I used obituaries to find living descendants. It turns out that one of his grandsons was actually a reverend at a Buddhist temple not far from here. My grandfather was picked up by the FBI right after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And it was quite traumatic for the family. Uh, they were incarcerated without any due process. And so clearly it was an injustice done to a whole race of people. Marissa interviewed Jay Shinseki and his cousin Joyce Kuwata about their grandfather. She then wrote in an article for Immigrant Voices, but didn't stop there. Hello, my name is Marissa. I'm currently looking for the descendants of Hikoshichi Higuchi. She wrote letters to people with similar names, hoping to find relatives of other people forced from their homes and into camps. She told me, oh, I, I got in touch with one family. I got in touch with another family. And then it's like four, and I said, wow. She wrote more stories for Immigrant Voices and then set up her own website to teach others about Japanese incarceration. I'm currently using these family stories to design a traveling exhibit for Angel Island that'll move around the Bay Area and the country to different historical sites. Marissa's work has also caught the attention of the National Japanese American Historical Society. It runs a museum at this site in the Presidio, where Japanese American soldiers were doing secret work for the U.S. Army, while their families were rounded up and incarcerated. Truth is power, and it's important to give people that power so they could tell the stories the way they should be told and to reel some of that truth so that things like this don't happen again. For Marissa, the gold star is still important, but the project now has larger meaning. She is hosting webinars on what she has learned and is creating lesson plans for schools on Japanese internment. Dion Lim, ABC7 News.